Review, 2023 Lexus RX cuts the luxury crossover in quarters. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. For years, the Lexus brand has been almost synonymous with its bestseller, the RX crossover SUV. The egg-shaped RX enjoyed so much success that its admirers became copiers, and the RX itself became overshadowed by the copies. With the outgoing fourth-generation RX, Lexus courted a more youthful demo by slapping on a giant spindle grille, folding in as many body creases as an origami crane, and floating a roof. Teenagers with crust aches have pulled off better takes on edgy youth. Lexus pulled out the razor and trimmed the redesigned 2023 Lexus RX to split the difference between its ovoid past and recent spunk. More importantly, the changes to the fifth-generation bestseller go beyond skin deep. Enticing new shoppers, in their 40s, without alienating core fans, in their 60s, the 2023 Lexus RX comes in six trims, four powertrains, three hybrid options, two all-wheel drive systems, and a more versatile platform that's new to the RX. The 3.5-liter V6 is gone for good, but the 350 designation remains for a new generation. Most of the changes occur behind the RX Tamer design. Its new TNGAK platform shared widely in the Toyota family is both stiffer and 198 pounds lighter, and it influences the packaging and design. Regardless of the drivetrain and battery packs, the gas and hybrid models have nearly the same interior proportions as last year except the cargo volume has blossomed from 32.6 cubic feet to 46.2 cubic feet with the seats down. The 7-seat RX L model won't return this year. Lexus pulled back the A-pillar and windshield an inch and trimmed the rear overhang by 2.4 inches, yet the wheelbase extends by that same difference. It makes the nose appear longer, and the rear more compact and muscular. The hood dips down into what used to be the top of the massive chrome-framed spindle grille. It's melting now, and spreads out past the frame as if frozen in aero motion. Rounded wheel arches and a curving body line represent the smoother flow of the RX. 2023 Lexus RX 500HF Sport Performance This iteration of the RXF Sport first introduced on the outgoing model takes a bigger step closer to the performance suggested by its name. It employs a 2.4-liter turbo 4 with a 6-speed automatic transmission and a motor generator. A 107-horsepower motor and inverter power the rear axle, and the motor is fed by the brand's trite and true nickel-metal hydride battery. Together, this new system produces 366 horsepower and 406 lbft of torque. With no direct mechanical connection between the axles, the 500H can adjust torque to the axles to optimize the driving mode. In sport mode at launch, the torque shifts from that of a front-wheel drive crossover to a 40-60 split favoring the rear axle. It steadies the weight transfer and helps the 500H reach a 0 to 60 miles per hour time in 5.9 seconds, according to Lexus. It's spirited and surprisingly spry, but there were a couple of instances where I wanted a couple more gears in the 6-speed automatic. Shifting down into second gear when going heavy on the throttle takes a long beat that can interrupt on-ramp fantasies. It was more tolerant of the upshifts, letting me stay in second gear until about 56 miles per hour, which was ideal up the hills on the interior of the California coast. But when downshifting, it stayed in third gear until about 45 miles per hour no matter how I flicked the paddles. Coming around a bend into a valley left me hunting for more grunting, but that's picking nits as there was plenty of passing power for everyday use. It couldn't fully shed the physics of its 4,751 pounds profile, but the 4 degrees of rear axle steering made a difference sashaying through the higher speed valley sweepers. At lower speeds, the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction of the fronts to make parking easier or to hone a three-point turn into one point. Eco, Normal, Sport, and Custom modes change the throttle response, and Eco mode feels as if you're stepping on a sponge. Each mode can be customized for sport or normal settings for the powertrain, suspension, and steering, but it's best to set it before driving hard because the drive modes are only accessible through the touchscreen. 
Still, with the Direct 4 AWD system and adaptive dampers on its front strut and multi-link rear suspension, the RX 500H feels more composed than any of its predecessors. It remains quiet and chill in the RX way, but now it has the option to be injected with more performance chops. It's a tempting alternative to the Acura MDX Type S, and sportier than any SUV from Infiniti, Lincoln, or Cadillac. We'll exclude the Escalade V because it's ridiculous. It only gets a Lexus estimated 27 miles per gallon combined, but for efficiency over performance, check out the RX 350H. Like the 500H, the RX 350H comes standard with all-wheel drive. Unlike the 500H, it was built for efficiency mainly. Lexus targets a MPG stat line of 37 miles per gallon city, 34 highway, and 36 combined, compared to the 30 miles per gallon combined in the last model. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.